insights into what's behind the behaviours and the beliefs that, uh, uh, that are causing the problem. Now you can get these two from attending a weekend workshop, I've attended many myself, but if you want lasting change to develop new habits of thought and action, you do need to have consistent action over time to develop these habits, and that's where I come in. I can help you do this, uh, lead you through the whole process from go to woe. Um, so, James Bryden, Productivity Coach. Earn more, learn more. Wrong way around. Learn more, learn more. <laughs> oh, poo. <laughs> That'll do, next person. <laughs> Good morning winners and grinners, my name is Jeff Payne, my company is Total Manager and I create websites that generate an income. <laughs> I ain't got the wife's knickers on again, have I? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, a couple of quick things for you today. If you get a, an email with BBB Better Business Bureau saying there's been a complaint about your business, just bin it. If in the mail you get something from the Australian National Directory asking you for no money now, just fill out the form and send it back, throw it straight in the bin because it is a scam. They'll charge you $340 to go into a business directory. That's it for me. Thank you. You're too kind. Pleasure. <laughs> Thought I got away with that. Uh, good morning, um, Russell from Little Aussie Directories, publishing local community magazine. Um, two types of businesses that we are extremely good at helping get new local customers are um, kitchen and bathroom renovators. Um, at the moment in the housing industry, if, with things being slowing down, a lot more people are actually thinking about renovating, especially if they've got an old sort of bathroom, an old kitchen, and typically the dollar range can be anywhere from $10,000 to, um, well, pick a limit, $50,000 plus. Um, the businesses that actually do this sort of work, uh, sometimes they specialise just in kitchen and bathroom renovations, but often um, kitchen renovators will also be cabinet makers, so they can just come in and do the, the kitchen um, sort of cabinets if that's all that's needing upgrading. We currently work with about eight to ten um, bathroom kitchen renovators, and for them we are actually one of their major source of new customers, and we are looking for more. So if you know any that are looking for more uh, local customers, give them a call um, or let us know about them, and we'll help them get more customers. Russell from Little Aussie Directories, connecting um, businesses and like. Good morning everyone, Marcel from Century Photographic <laughs> Studio, based in Eastwick Park, but we'll go anywhere. Uh, as you all know, 2012 is a little bit of a new beginning for us, and I uh, was just looking around how, how can I change things a little bit, and uh, the first thing was, I'm just going to revamp a little bit the studio. So I started at the front. I'm going to get customer coming back and all that type of things. Uh, so just a bit, of, you know, fresh coat of paint and uh, changing settees, furnishes around. Same goes with your photographs. If you get a photograph, or if you know a business which got had the same photograph on their website for four or five years, it's time to change. People don't want to go back to a site that they've seen over and over and again. So if you know anybody which is in the situations, just tell them to give us a ring. Thank you. Morning everyone, my name's Lee Atwell and I'm uh, the owner of Graphic Can. Sure. <laughs> this, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm worried about this Wally next to me. Um, we're based on Albany Highway in Kenwick. Um, this week I wanted to talk about um, vehicle signage, for one thing. Um, we seem to get a lot of success out of um, doing vehicle signage for people. Um, we've just done, um, just got the order come through for West Coast Water Filter Man, um, for the fifth vehicle that we've done for him over the past um, three years. Um, he seems to get so much success out of the, uh, the branding on his, his vehicle that he actually told me when we did his, uh, his personal um, Mazda Ute, um, two months that was paid for from, from work just got from his, uh, from his vehicle, so um, that's straight from the horse's mouth. Another thing, we can do some fast turnaround stuff, can't we, Robbo? It's Phone call yesterday not afternoon bad. about three o'clock. Lee, I need something for the expo. Quick, anything nice and bright. So I did it for him. I think that was on the printer about 20 minutes after the phone call. We can do it, but we don't like doing it all the time. Really? But only, only for people that we really, really like. And you did it for me anyway? I did it for you anyway. Lee, Lee from Graphic Jam, Traffic Stop in Signs and Designs. Good morning everyone, Rebecca from Link Accounting and Business Solutions is chapter as accountant. Uh, who here has their business set up or, or has a trust structure? I think a few of you do from what I know. Um, there's new legislation that the government's introduced on trust distributions. Um, now your distributions have to be decided and the trust distribution minutes have to be done by the 30th of June. 
So despite the fact that you don't know what your trust income is going to be, you have to know where you want to distribute it. So that means you need to get into your accountant early and get your paperwork sorted as soon as possible and do as much tax planning for the end of the year. So if you want any more information on it, come see us at Link Accounting and Business Solutions where your attitude plus our knowledge equals your success. Just